Hello, everybody. I am here to offer you a wonderful opportunity that people have been asking me about wherever I go. People are asking me, how can we see the same move of God in our country as is happening in the Ukraine? Will you come and do a conference? Will you come and preach in our church? And the invitations are just too many. So that's why I've decided to start a Bible school in every country. So right now we have started one in America. We've started one in uh, France. We've started one in Holland. We've started one in Germany. Now it's time for England. So we're starting a history maker Bible school in, Lo in the city of London from September 25th. So I'm inviting everybody that wants to be a part of this great move of God that God is pouring all, all, all over Europe, that you should come and be a part of this Bible school. It's just a weekend Bible school, one weekend a month. So you don't need to leave your job, you don't need to leave your family, you don't need to leave your church, just one Saturday in a month. You can do that. Please get in touch with us by contacting, by contacting the telephone and the email on the screen after this program. God bless you and welcome to History Makers Bible School. And we prepared five people who will testify about the work that is done in Germany. Bless you, I live in Lyskorn. In 2005, I went as a missionary from Kiev to Germany. And within this time, we have, through the Church of the Embassy of God, that we started uh, in, in Germany, we have the same name, the Embassy of God Church, because we didn't want to change the name, because we are proud of being ambassadors. So we do social work in clubs, in schools, and, and the mayor of our city knows about us. We have been uh, written about in the newspapers. We opened two integration schools for uh, Russian-speaking uh, population of Germany, and 50 people have been uh, are studying there. We conduct concerts, folk, folk groups. We uh, conduct creative evenings, and one of the concerts embraces 600 people, and there is only one performance. We make CDs, we publish magazines and newspapers that we spread free of charge. And of course, there is a great work done through schools and educational system. Praise God. Hello, my name is Violeta. I represent politics and youth ministry. I would like to testify shortly how I got to politics. Pastor said that we should go into politics and I just received it and I went there and when I came there I was 21 years old and they were shocked. They said that there have never been such a young person in politics. But that was a, a great door, everything was open uh, and they people started to see us constantly, people started to be interested and many people would never have come to church but we were able to um, to embrace more and more people and though many people say that we are a sect uh, but still, after uh, getting acquainted with, with me, they uh, started to conduct political meetings in our church uh, so that all politicians would know our church. They said, why should we take another um, um, place, rent another place? We want to help you. You are wonderful. You do so many things. You're not a sect. But that person used to, to, to call us a sect, but after he got acquainted with us personally, he started to promote our church church. God is alive. God is alive. Uh, so now uh, the pol politics provides youth projects because the government uh, rejected uh, the projects of, um, for youth because we, we started saying that you should not smoke, you should not uh, you know, sleep with with um, with girls and boys before you get married, and because they didn't like it, and now they're going to finance those projects, and we're going to give the whole project program that we have prepared. Thank you. What country is the next one? Greetings, my name is Vadim Renner. I came from Germany five years ago. I was freed from the drug addiction. I'm ministering uh, in those massage centers. We are gaining people, uh, building the people uh, in the spiritual health. Every week 
we are showing one special uh, step or principle at the at the tail it's written uh, at the top and whenever a person uh, lays a person uh, sees it at the, at the roof, at the top, at the ceiling. Uh, we had some cases where Muslims were repenting at our massage centers. We are making them different type of um, celebrations where people can come and where people can take part and where they can just in, enjoy. And uh, through the massage centers, we are also touching people. What, what, what country else? Uh, do you have more countries? There are two children who would want to thank you, Pastor. I want to thank you, dear Pastor Sunday. You're speaking in Russian with a German accent. I, I am a German. <laughs> you see, they're the new generation. They're in the, the new genophant. I'm thankful for uh, your work that you started in Germany and for returning me my parents because they were drug addicts uh, in the past. Uh, the life in the past was very sad and bad for me. If uh, my parents would die, I, don't, I wouldn't know what would happen, but I'm very thankful. What's your name? Nikolai. Nick. Thank you, Nick, for being thankful with the tears. Even the Germany thank the Lord for starting this church. A child, uh, the child is thankful that we did not allow his parents to die in drugs. God is alive. His mother is here. His mother is right here. I raised a church in Kasov. My name is Olga. I'm a former drug addict. Uh, God uh, freed me. I was in drugs for 15 years. Me and my husband stopped using drugs. We were drug addicts. We were dying. God uh, returned us, uh, our son who was confiscated uh, from us two times. Uh, he used uh, he used the drugs and injection as his toys. He had nothing to play. Uh, my uh, doctor, when he saw the difference uh, in my life, uh, he took me, and I'm now working with him in Germany. Drug addiction is uh, the disease that the most money is spent. They're giving injections, they're giving uh, condoms, they're giving methadone and other drugs. Uh, they're doing all the different things, and it doesn't help. Uh, Pastor, I just want to thank you for helping me to become a man. I was a drug addict for 16 years. I started to use drugs at the age of 14. I was dying two times because of overdose. I was killed. Uh, several times people tried to kill me. And I, I thank you and my pastor for your work. Friends, this is Germany. Nazism started from Germany. Hitler and his team said that those people like I am, the black uh, people, he will overcome uh, black people and he was thinking that he could use our skin to make the shoes out of our skin. Well, it didn't work. God stopped him and now my skin it will never become the shoes, but God uses my color skin to save the people. But let me just say the other thing. You know, the thing where fascism started, Nazism started, people are fighting against against Germany, uh, Germany Nazis, but there are still Nazis movement in Ukrainian. 
in Ukraine. I have this disc how how uh, a Ukrainian nationalist uh, spoke against me. 10, 15 people are killed every year. Uh, the black people are killed, and they are very proud of this. Friends, we have to resist the racism against the, the nazism. It's an English movie. Uh, get it and see what we are fighting with, so you would not allow this to happen. We also have this disc in Russian. We can never uh, be silent about it. It's a movie about neo-Nazism. We have to stop this before it brings death to each other. So we can hear the words of gratitude instead of the haters. Let the second child say, Dear Pastor Sunday, I would want to thank God for you because if you, if not your ministry, my family wouldn't exist. My dad is here. He was a former drug addict. Our family was ruined. I had no relationship with my parents, but now I love my pa parents and we are the best friends and I can talk to them about anything. Praise the Lord for this. I was studying from the street. Uh, they're teaching me now. Praise the Lord. God is alive. Give God the glory. Pastor, let us uh, give you a gift. Uh, this uh, candle stand, uh, we hope uh, it will find its place in your house because you're the light. You're the light to this world. The, the light is giving through you. And the flowers to your wife. Let God give the glory. Friends, we don't have time, but in the end, we would want our pastor from Afghanistan to speak a word. This is a married couple, Pastor Rustan and his wife from Afghanistan. Hallelujah. I'm congratulating you, my dear church, my dear pastor, Pastor Sunday, Pastor Bosse, the, spir the spiritual council, the apostolic council, all the members of the church, I'm congratulating you with the jubilee. Let God bless you. I'm working in Afghanistan for eight years. Eight years, I was in the Embassy of God uh, at the eighth anniversary, where I was uh, ordained to go and to minister in Afghanistan. You know how I got there? I saw a tape, I listened a tape of Pastor Sunday and everything inside me changed and uh, I was called to meet Pastor Sunday. I, I passed the border of the country of Ukraine. I was arrested by the police. They sent me back to Afghanistan. I was locked in prison in train station. And I met a person from Bangladesh and he said, I was there for 12 years. And I started to knock and they said, uh, close your mouth and uh, I was saying please free me they said okay I, we will and so they allowed me off they sent me off and they crossed the border once again I started to uh, go over the lake and uh, I got lost in the forest and but I got here and it was worse of it when I arrived here at the second meeting, the pastor spoke and he was uh, ending and he went to his cabinet. I followed him and he said, okay, come in. And he blessed me and I'm now listening to his sermon and his anointment. People were talking yesterday, somebody was supposed to die, but he stayed uh, living. You see, without his anointment, without the calling, I would probably be dead. But I'm keeping his anointment. I'm keeping his teaching. And I'm ministering in Afghanistan. And the Lord is at work. There are many missionaries in Afghanistan. But they're hiding. And so I went to Afghanistan and I came there. I went there and I told them, 
I came here from the Lord. The Lord sent me. He wants to free you. He wants to give you health. And so if you want for me to pray for you, come. Be and this is a Muslim country, you know, only a priest can pray. But few of the people came and he said, I'm sick. I cannot uh, sleep at night. I have nightmares. He said, uh, seven years ago, he was walking on the burial place and uh, he got uh, afraid and I prayed and they casted a demon and he started to scream he started to, he uh, took somebody's clothes and he started to uh, run around and he went outside and he fell down and he stood up and he said I'm I feel so free I feel so free after all there was a line after this case. I started to pray for every one of them. A family couple came and she said, we don't have children for 12 years. I said, go buy clothes, buy, buy everything God will give you. A baby. In four, in four months after, when I uh, went to those camps once again, and I'm a surgeon by my profession, I go village to village, I... I evangelize first and then I give them the treatment. One lady said, do you remember me? I said, no. <clears throat> she said, remember you told me that I have to go and prepare for a baby and she showed me her stomach. One other thing. I'm treating the sick people. One person came to me, he said, can you give me a drug? My wife is pregnant, we don't want uh, this baby. I said, you can't do this. She has to give birth to a child. He said, no, we have so many children we cannot feed. I said, the Lord would feed you. He's saying, you see, she's not married. And I'm saying, okay, what happened? He said, well, we were engaged and we had sex. And now she's pregnant. If they would find out, we will all get killed. She also have a full tank of gasoline. If this will not solve, she will burn herself. He said, uh, our families will kill each other if this would happen. And I was thinking, how can I help? I said, go to your father, tell him. He said, uh, he'll kill me. And I remembered two days ago, I listened to a sermon of Pastor Sunday, and he said, uh, when he preached uh, on the screen, he said, there is one lady she's pregnant, she don't want this baby, she wants to make an abortion, don't do this, the Lord will take it. And this happened. I, I prophesied, I said that the Lord will take this pregnancy back. The lady did not do the abortion, the uh, pregnancy just disappeared. He remembered about this case. And I told him, I said, wait for three days, the Lord will take it back. He said, that's impossible. How can a baby disappear? I said, if this will not happen, tell me that the God did not send you. The Lord, Jesus is Lord. Tell him that he is not Lord. And he came to me on his knees and he said, the Lord, Jesus Christ is Lord. <laughs> You see, friends, you don't even imagine what the hardships this couple go through in order to work and minister in Afghanistan. They, they were uh, about to be killed. Taliban was willing to kill them. They, they were stolen. They were taking them um, captives. So many problems, so many problems. They go through so many problems. We're bowing down to you. They are our heroes without the money, without the support. Help us to send missionaries through all the world. When you go to Afghanistan, you would know that you don't have the problems. The problems that you have here are the problems of your negative thinking. Are they the problem from your happiness, from having too much? The lack of problem brings you the depression. Go to Afghanistan. Go to Afghanistan, you would see how happy you are to live in Ukraine. Did you want uh, to say something to add? Please be quick. You see, when the Lord is at work, the devil also at work. 
uh, when I formed the church, people came to kill me. At 5 a.m. when we prayed, uh, six, six of them came into my house. Uh, they put me onto the floor. Uh, one of them had the automatic machinery gun. And I was saying, Lord, please take my life. But uh, I said, I forgive those people. Let those people believe in you just as I believed. And I re I've heard the Lord's voice. And he said, it's not the time. Stand up and go outside. I stood up and I went outside. I started to pray. They didn't allow me to go out of the door. I jumped out of the window. They started to shoot in me and they were not able to kill me. Not, not an ammo got into me. I jumped on him. I pushed the man. I uh, climbed to the roof. I started to scream. They started to kill, uh, the, they started to shoot, they thought, um, they started to sh shoot and they thought it was me, but they killed their friend. When the police came, they saw the flags of Taliban and uh, there were two flags and a, so a sword and uh, it looked like they wanted to sh put their flags at the wall and kill me and show it to Taliban on Taliban television. But the Lord was at work and he, he saved me. Then I received a letter from Kafkazis. They said, we know you. You, you left the Muslim face and you moved to Christianity. We give you three days. Other way, if you don't turn to Islam, we will cut your head off. And I started to experience fear and the Lord moved my heart. And I told this man, I said, I tell you, you're not the first one. I told this man, the, the one who came, I said, you're not the first one. And the other people are already dead. If you would want to die, come and try to kill me. But please know that you're not coming here against me, but you're coming against the Lord. But in Afghanistan, the, it's, it's a very poor country. It's a uh, country filled with drugs. It's a Muslim country. I was reading the book about Saddam and Gomorrah, but now I saw it. Um, I saw how people sell their children for the uh, bag of wheat. I was like a Macedonian down there, and I'm calling you to take the responsibility. Take this responsibility. If you have a calling to go to the is please turn to the missionary center. If I would not go to Ukraine, many of you would not be saved. Somebody have to go to Afghanistan. Let us stand up. Let us applause to the Lord for this brother, for our heroes, for the missionaries, for the Rustam and other brothers, missionaries. We bless you. We bless you in the name of Jesus. I came here not alone. I came with my princess. She's also a warrior. What will she say? I just want to add the biggest death during the birth giving is in Afghanistan. I've, I've heard this information on TV recently. And I'm not talking about the children who are dying daily. But friends, the Lord called us to go to this people because they are in great need for love. If lo where there is no love, people cannot exist. But in order to minister to those people, you have to build the relationship with them. When we arrived there, we started with uh, our neighbors. Uh, we started with 30, 40 neighbors who lived around us. Uh, they're the Iranians mostly. But we started to walk house from house and show our love to them. We started to tell them about Jesus. There are more than 100 children uh, who are a part of our children's ministry. I go to the women, I teach them. But friends, let me just add, only through love you can touch the hearts. Only through love. Lord, send the peace to this country. 
Thank you, Pastor Bossi. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning, you're in. Give God the glory, friends. Praise Him. Praise Him. Hello, everybody. I am here to offer you a wonderful opportunity that people have been asking me about wherever I go. People are asking me, how can we see the same move of God in our country as is happening in the Ukraine? Will you come and do a conference? Will you come and preach in our church? And the invitations are just too many. So that's why I've decided to start a Bible school in every country. So right now we have started one in America. We've started one in uh, France. We've started one in Holland. We've started one in Germany. Now it's time for England. So we're starting a history maker Bible school in, Lo in the city of London from September 25th. So I'm inviting everybody that wants to be a part of this great move of God that God is pouring all, all, all over Europe, that you should come and be a part of this Bible school. It's just a weekend Bible school, one weekend a month. So you don't need to leave your job, you don't need to leave your family, you don't need to leave your church, just one Saturday in a month. You can do that. Please get in touch with us by contacting, by contacting the telephone and the email on the screen after this program. God bless you and welcome to History Makers Bible School.